Will ultra-conservative savers get the last laugh? I'm Bob Stokes with Elliott Wave International. This era of ultra-low interest rates has been tough for those who choose to put their money into savings accounts or money market funds. Many people who are financially conservative do not want to risk losing one red cent in the stock market. Some financial risk-takers may snicker at such a frady cat approach, but who knows, the ultra-conservative may get the last laugh. This quote from our March Elliott Wave theorist helps explain why. If the rise in interest rates finally spreads to the short end of the curve so that Treasury bill rates rise too, it will be a boon for holders of interest-bearing cash equivalents. It hasn't happened yet, but it should. Our latest April Elliott Way financial forecast mentions two specific financial vehicles to strongly consider in a rising rate environment. It also shows subscribers this chart and commentary. The Elliott Way financial forecast identified the March 9, 2020 top as the end of the 39-year bull market in bonds and has been forecasting the wave structure of the progressing bear market. The first quarter of 2021 was the worst total return quarter for U.S. Treasuries in 41 years since 1980, according to the Bloomberg Barclays Indexes. As you probably know, bond prices and yields, or rates, move inversely to each other. In other words, as bond prices have declined, rates have risen. Getting back to that last laugh mentioned in the title, if the Elliott Wave model is correct about stock market prices, the financially conservative may see their day in the sun, and it might arrive sooner than many financial observers expect. Get our outlook for rates, as well as the stock market, inside our Elliott Wave financial forecast, which is part of our flagship investor package. Get started by following the link below this video.